Hey, hey, hey guys, this is Hawkeye and I am back fishing planet and guys we have been trying to catch this elusive critter here, yellowfin tuna. Now we have caught the common and trophy of these but still have not found the unique. We've found a couple of really good locations for them but I think this one we're working with last episode might be the one where we're going to find the unique ones. I'm just not certain yet. Now there are uh, some others that we need to get, complete our list, Skipjack, we have another one that's a unique, and they are also found here, the Ruby Snappers, which have been really giving me a problem lately, I've got the trophy and the common, but the unique keep missing those, Mahi Mahi might be a little bit better to catch once we locate them, and green joe fish that one might not be too bad i think if we get in the right spot and just keep fishing it we'll find one and big fin reef squid is the last one on the list and i already know of a spot where one of my club members had been catching them so i think we might hit that but in this episode i think we're going to focus on the yellow fin now these are some big fish they are not as big as the Pacific bluefin, but they are good size. But I've got it, everything loaded up here with their favorite stuff. The uh, trolling octopus, they love those, and they love these squid chains. On this one, I've got the trophy squid chain. That might give me a little bit more an advantage of getting them, too. At least I'm hoping. But where we're going is actually down in the southwestern area. There's a I think it's more like right here. There is a pretty much a rock in the middle of the ocean. And around that location there are a lot of tuna and quite a few other species. There's the rock I was talking about. And if we look at the map, I'll show you. And here is the sonar map. And we zoom in and we don't see any other land nearby. Just this one little piece right here. And let me see if there's anything showing up on the sonar. Yep, there are fish down on the bottom. And there are fish everywhere, which there usually are right here. So... Let's go ahead and get our gear out. Don't see any birds, which is usually an indication that the tuna are feeding near the surface. But we'll go ahead and throw our lines out anyway. I'm going to go ahead and get to the middle of the boat. Let's toss this one out here. Now we're probably going to get a lot of other things. Like I said, there's a bunch of different species here. I'm gonna have to change my leader on this. It's starting to get a little worn down. It's 38%. Alright, let's get this boat moving. Anchor is not set, so we can go ahead and just take off. Try to get this at 4%. And 
Now I'm going to try to hit these markers because that's where I've caught the yellow fin before in the past. Tro trophy ones. There. That should be good. I think actually we already have a bite. Yep, right off the bat. And it is a decent sized fish. Holy crap. On the other one too. Good lord. We weren't even doing anything. I will say I have not caught any marlin here yet, so even though this looks like a marlin, I don't think it will be. need that new leader sooner than later. <laughs> wow. Whatever this is, it's just taking off with it. That is almost very typical marlin behavior. Feet. Several moments later. Alright guys, we're finally making some headway on this guy, but it is taking a while. He did get out to 300 plus feet a couple more times, but I think we might have him on the ropes here. Let's see. Almost here. He's down 10 feet, and we got him. Trophy dog food to tooth tuna. Not the biggest, but not bad on XP. For some reason, he's he's up there. I've caught them here before, but not too often. Yeah, they seem to be hanging kind of close to that that island rock or whatever. Usually once you get a little bit further away from them, that's when you start getting the more yellowfin territory. But I had to see what the heck it was. And we'll go ahead and continue on. Try to put some distance between us and that island. I think that's where we're going to catch these guys. It's up here, just to north of us. Got some north. No, it's south. Sorry, it must be turned around. We got some jumpers out there. I hear them, I just don't see them. Let's turn this thing around, maybe we'll have more luck. In here, oh, there we go. We, okay, we've got a... That is, we have that one. Alright, let's back this down there. Oh, no, I think we lost it. Nope, it's still there. Might 
be a skipjack. Yeah, probably. No, it's an albacore. Getting a lot of those too. Just gotta find the yellow yellowfin wherever they happen to be. Yeah, like I said, there's nothing on the sonar here. So I don't know how in the world we managed to run into them, but I'm gonna turn this around, see if we can't locate some more. Ah, shoot, we got another bite. Another big fish. Yeah, I don't think we'll get a dog tooth this this time. This is too far out in the actual ocean. Several boring minutes later. Alright guys, I am back. I have been fighting this guy for about 20 minutes now. He has taken it out almost 400 feet. Over 300 feet twice after getting it even past 150 feet. And he is still holding his own. At least been a 20 minute fight. I don't know what this is, but I really hope it is what we're after. It's, it has been one heck of a fight. But it's got to be something decent size, that's for sure. But yeah, you see how tough this guy has been. He is still keeping me at bay. And he is just not, just not letting up. Closest I've had him yet. He's not, not going to give it up. I think we got him. We do. And there he is, guys. We got him. It's. I knew it had to be it. I knew it had to be it. Something told me. Unique yellowfin tuna. That is one of the ones. 369 pounds. Yeah, he's not as big as it, the uh, the Pacific Bluefin, but definitely up there. Bigger than the Goliath Grouper. 56,922 XP gain. 67,246 cash. 90.2 inches. Big fish. Not the biggest, but still a very nice fish. If you were to catch him in real life, you'd be a very well-to-do person, <laughs> because probably thousands of dollars for the fish here, honestly. Let's take a look at this fellow. Yeah, he would bring a pretty penny. Very nice fish. That's my first unique elephant. 
definitely getting a picture of him. He's covered up my whole face. Get a different perspective there. Very nice, guys. Yeah, it seems like it cuts off his tail if you bring it that way, though. I was trying to get a shot where you can see my face, but you really can't. Yeah. I'll have to take a look at all three pictures. Try to figure out which one's the best. Huge fish. Alright, we're keeping him and we're marking that spot. So he was right here. That's interesting. Nowhere anywhere close to the other ones. But the skipjack tuna is the other one that we've been catching here. We did get a trophy one here. That setup was supposed to be ideal for the yellowfin. Now, the skipjack, I'm not sure what their favorite is. That'll probably be one we'll attack in the next episode since we're already out here. And skip jack. Okay, there we go. Well, they seem to go for the same things. They also go for poppers and medium spoons and minnows. That could actually be beneficial to us, guys, because I do did bring some. I haven't tried minnows at all. That's something that might might work. Trolling octopuses definitely get the big tuna. That might single out the skipjack. Let me see what I have in here. Yeah, we have triple runners, punch runners, and deep runners. Anyone? Oh, and also 13 arrows deep runners. I think it's because of the squid chains. I can't see them. Let's try a triple runner. I think it's heavy enough. I just wanted to play around with this a little bit. And I do need... I think this is the one that I need to fix the... Yeah, my mono line's really worn out. Which one? 154. Let's see. 154, 154. Yeah, let's get rid of that one because that one's getting a little worn out. Got a few bait coins in the process. Not too bad. I think what we'll do is we'll put a leader on this this time. What's the strongest? Yeah, we got 154. See, that'll wear the leader out before it'll wear out the line. There we go. Not bad. Yeah, let's toss that out. I know we've been doing a lot already. Apparently, this is kind of light, so it's not going to cast out very far. But it should matter. We'll just let it sink a little bit. You can finagle your way on a lot light lures. Then you just put it on there. Let's see what we got on this one we can change. Okay, let's see if we can find a heavier one. And we've 
got the hunched runners. This one might be heavy enough. Okay, that weighs two and a quarter rounds. Yeah, see, that's optimal. So that should be all right. What is our 159? We should be fine with that kind of leader. I don't have a leader on that one either, which is really kind of strange that I didn't do that. Alright, we're good. This one should cast out pretty well. It's actually not a bad distance. Let me look at the map here. I thought I had marked the skipjack, but I guess I didn't. Did mark the albacore. Of course, the elephant. Is... That's the trophy elephant. I'm gonna leave that up because that does kind of show a path. But let me see here. We have. Last time I think I caught them, I was going right here, coming back from the navigation. So I think as long as I head in this direction, it should be all right. So I need to turn a little bit. Start heading this direction. We got some jumpers over there somewhere. Oh, birds, there we go. This is probably where I was catching them, guys. That's the first appearance of birds I've seen. Can hope that they're skipjacks. That is where I caught them. Be nice to get one more unique. Like I said, I have not tried the minnows yet. It'd be interesting to see if it, they go for it. I have not tried poppers. I have not tried medium spoons. We definitely have some jumpers over there. We can see them now. Can't tell what they are. I don't think they're too big, because... I don't know. It's hard to say. Uh, uh, wait a minute. We might have a bite here. Yep, we got a bite. We got something. And it's not too big. Could be what we're after, guys. This is off the hunched runner, 26 foot. And it may be bigger than I thought it was. Alright, let's do this. Sh sh slow this daggone thing down here. Sometimes if you're pulling against the boat as you're running, it'll be harder to pull in, but I don't know. This thing may be bigger than I thought it was. Like I said, I have not tried to run the uh, minnows at all on this yet. Quite a few lures I haven't tried. see what this is. Okay, it's coming in now. Yellow fin! I'll be darned. The yellow fin go for that. Well, I, I did not know that. 
This is definitely a elephant hotspot. 108 pounds. It's not a not one to sneeze about, I'm sure. I thought I was gonna single out what I was after there. Let me take a look. The old fin tuna. Minnows, medium spoons. So they will go for them too, I guess. Shoot, how do you single them out? Maybe you just can't. Hmm. Maybe because it's such a big spoon. Or not a spoon, you know what I mean. We could try the medium spoons. But I don't know if I have a really big one. Let me see here we've got. We've got jigging spoons. It didn't say anything about those. Most of the medium spoons. Oh, here we go, two ounce. Let's try that. says that's optimal. Let's put one on this one too. Let's put the... Yeah, because that's a little bitty lure. I think that's just too small. Let's put the red one on. It says it's still too light. What does it have to be? Two and a half ounce? Well... I don't have one that big. Two ounces is gonna have to do, I guess. It's not gonna cast very far. Be interesting to see what goes for it, if anything. And we'll let that go out a little bit more. Let's take it out to about 80. 82, something like that. We might have lost our birds. Nope, no, we didn't. We're good. We go. All right, we got something on the yellow medium spoon. They seem to like yellow. Catches her eye, that's for sure. Okay, this is not as big as some of the other fish, which is good. That's a good sign. Also, not too small. We can only hope, guys. Survey said another yellow fin. <laughs> well, shoot. No skipjack for us, I guess. That's not what was. That was not what was jumping around out there. But we managed to be catching plenty of the yellow fin here, though, guys. That wasn't bad. Let's take a look at our our fella here. Go in our fish storage. Yeah, he's definitely the biggest one for the day. It's a nice fish. 369. Where does he place on all time best? Fish record, obviously, the group Brazil is my record. My trophy Pacific Bluefin. Then the unique striped marlin. Unique Big Eyed Marlin, still outsize that. Trophy Giant Grouper, I was thinking that the Grouper wasn't quite that big, but it is. Unique Arapaima, so it's still, it's kind of down on the list a little bit. Oh no, I'm sorry, I looked at that wrong. So it's right after the Grouper. 
Yeah, I jumped a little bit there. Right after the groover, about six pounds less. And these two are pretty darn close. But these, I mean, they're just way outside of that. That's, you've gotten into some seriously heavy fish there. Well, all right, guys. That is one of them off my list. I'm down to five more I need to get. And I might have something here. What the heck? There's something on there? Well, it looked like there was there for a minute, guys. I tell you, I've, I've seen stranger things happen out here, but not this time. Anyway, guys, well, I hope you enjoyed that episode. Please be sure to share, comment, like, and subscribe. Anyway, guys, as I always say, aim straight, cast far, and have fun, and I will see you later. Bye-bye.